Hi team, my name is Frank Wetzler. I'm a senior support engineer with Boomi. And today I wanted to demystify a little of the document storage process within Boomi. Uh, the documents that I'm specifically referring to are those that are associated with your process executions. Um, and you know we can typically see them in the um, process reporting U U UI. And if we click the time date stamp for, e for any of our executions, we're brought to a uh, user interface that shows us the various shapes that executed through the process. And this is a very simple process, but again, we have our no, no data start shape and an HTTP client. And then we can click into those shapes to get access to the documents that were um, <clears throat> pulled into or out of the shape. And, the into or out of is, is based on the document configuration itself, but we can typically look at the documents. And customers various times may want to look at their documents for various reasons. Um, but a lot of times customers are not clear where that data is actually stored. And it is stored in your runtime um, and we'll take a look at a very helpful document that describes the installation directories for atoms, molecules, and clouds. And it basically describes the folders that the runtime uses when, when executing your processes. Um, so we're, the, the folder we're particularly interested in is the data folder in this case. And again, this is where your document data used during your process executions are stored. They are subjected to your purge schedule, <clears throat> created every time a process runs. And yes, this folder does contain customer data. Also goes on to describing how to change the structure of the data folder to store more files, as well as archive it if you wish. Optional features, these two. Um, but this folder here, and we'll take a look at it. Um, I'm gonna go back up a directory or two. This is the um, installation folder for one of my molecules. And here we see the folders described in this article in the help guide. And particularly, we'll take a look at the data folder. And in there, we see that they're, by default, they're organized by day, month and day, year, month, day. And in here, we see the various files that constitute my documents. Um, now, unfortunately, they are not human readable. Um, you, and you cannot associate, they're not associated necessarily with an execution itself. Like in other words, you can't come into this folder and figure out which files in here were created by a specific execution. But that is where the data itself resides. It's in this data folder. And I hope that this um, illustration helped demystify a little of the uh, installation folder, as well as clarify where your document data actually resides. Thank you again, and happy integrating. Bye for now.